April at 6.02 p.m. And there is a quorum here. I will read who is here, who hasn't logged in. Ted Purcell is here, as well as Pete O'Malley and Tom Rashala. So we will open the meeting at 6.02. Okay. Um, because Director Buckley is here, if it's okay, guys, I'd like to go to the sprinkler um, article that's on the town meeting warrant so that we can allow him to spend time with his family this evening. Certainly. Always a good thing. Okay. Joe, are you there? Yeah, just, yeah, just had to move. Okay. <laughs> Off the couch, huh? <laughs> Into the closet. <laughs> Well, the dog and the teenagers had taken over the living room, and it was no longer fun to be there. <laughs> so you chose a finance committee meeting, huh? <laughs> that and something about they couldn't figure out what they wanted for pizza. I don't know. Anyway, so um, you want to talk about the I'm here to field questions. Okay. So I, I, um, we heard what I believe. Said. We heard what you said to the select board regarding that this had to be placed by the DEP. And the reason for this is to, I know there was some discussion about the fact that if we had to treat the water and then put it through the sprinklers and all that, it's. Did you get, um, did you get a copy of what I sent? A copy of the actual order? I did, I did, and I know I, um, I sent it out, so hold on one second. There's an awful lot of emails. I'm sorry. Yes, here we go. So plainly, um, we we decided to um, do what we could to get out from under the water moratorium the town was facing. And to do that, we had to work with DEP. And DEP basically, um, their stickler on the water moratorium was our unaccounted for water was too high and we were withdrawing over and above what our original permit allowed us to do. So what the, the whole purpose behind the administrative consent order is, it's an interim step between our existing permit and a new permit. And what it does is um, it gives us the ability to take a little bit more water out of the reservoir and meet um, our commitments on development. Um, to do that, they don't just rubber stamp letting you do that. They attached a bunch of conditions to it. Um, and one of the questions was the um, the sprinkler bylaw update. Um, and if you read the in in the um, the actual order, it doesn't necessarily have to pass, but we were required to put it on or have it uh, voted on a town meeting. So that's where that comes from. There's a bunch of stuff that's in that document: uh, drought control, um, a, a water a, a bylaw on how to manage drought. Um, we had to get them a pretty extensive report about all of our inflow and infiltration work. Um, so it's just one component of probably 10 that we were required to do. And if you, you look close enough at the document, it, it is a, basically a court order, yeah. but they call it a consent order. So again, it's an, it's an interim step between our existing Water Management Act permit and the new one. Um, and we weren't necessarily, we had some housekeeping issues. So this helps clean up the housekeeping issues and um, gets us to that next step. From a strictly financial standpoint, um, you tie a few more houses in and you increase sales, that's probably better for the, the rate payers overall. Okay. All right. What did you say you can tie up? What did you say there? What did you say in that last statement, Joe? It's David who's after. From a strictly financial standpoint, it allows us to tie in a few more houses um, and we get a little money, more money for connections and sales. Okay. Any other discussion right now before? So I, we need to make a recommendation. We didn't get to it the other night because we weren't exactly all on the same page. I sort of got the impression that it doesn't really matter whether it passes or not. We're going to be held to that yeah. one way or another. We're liable if we don't, right? 
No, it's as long as it gets placed in the ward, is what it was. All I have to do is get placed as fast as it can. We are required to give them a copy of the vote. I make the motion that the finance committee recommend the town vote favorably on article 22, which is to see if the town will vote to amend the water use restriction bylaw to include what is printed on the copy of the warrant. Well, my only second. Any other discussion? Questions? Concerns? Speak now. I'll hold my peace. <laughs> Okay, we will then take a roll call vote. Tommy? Mushala, <clears throat> aye. David? Lucy, aye. Pete? O'Malley, aye. Ted? Purcell, aye. Narwhal, aye. Passes the favor. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Joe. I appreciate it. That's okay. I'm going to go back to the chaos in a few more minutes. If you don't mind, I just want to go over some housekeeping issues. I sent you updates per your request for that additional thousand dollars or so, or fifteen hundred dollars. Yes. And that's all set. You're all set with all the updates. I am because it tied out to what it was, what we had taken out, so it's perfect. So thank you. Um, I also got you some guidance documents on future snow and ice work. We've got to be careful with how we proceed with that. Yes. I hope that helps. Um, it, 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 it does. It, it does. But thank you. I, I, more information is always is, is always helpful. So thank well, you. Well, you you all sound kind of hesitant. Were you hoping to be able to cut more snow and ice? Oh, no, 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 no. We're done. <laughs> We're hoping it never snows and ices again. That's right. <laughs> you do know it snowed in Rutland today, right? Yeah, I watched it all day. You what, know, Joe? I thought of you the minute I saw that plate. All right. So you're all set. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, everybody. Have a good one. All right. You too. Okay. So now we will continue with, we'll finish the last two articles and then we get back to the budget. Okay. Article 19. Does anyone have any preference? Do you have some discussion on this? Tonight's night to have a discussion? Uh, I think we where we left off, we were in a discussion of the take no action. Where right, happened. exactly. Yeah. So, so Take no action is a recommendation to pay the town take no action. Exactly. And if we make the recommendation that the town take no action, as clarified tonight from Peter, this means that it doesn't trigger certain things with an MGL regarding a fatal bylaw. Okay. 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 Could you say that again, please? Okay. So, as Peter was telling us earlier, taking no action doesn't trigger certain. MGLs regarding if a bylaw was failed. There's certain amounts that you can't bring it back for periods of time. Taking no actions as if it nothing ever happened. It just sort of applies. It wasn't it wasn't down, it wasn't it wasn't approved, it wasn't down, it was just they didn't do anything about it. If they do that, that's all they are recommendations. Who knows what the council will do? They're going to say it's going to bring us money. Let's do it. Probably not. That's what they say. Their choice. It's the town floor's choice. What it is. Doesn't necessarily bring us any money, right? No, it's it's just a while. Ago. That's just what the word on the street is. Sure. <laughs> Sure. What street? <laughs> <laughs> Easy street. So everyone's taking a look at the citizens' petitions? Yes. Okay. So 
I'm going to make the motion that the finance committee recommend the town take no action on Article 19, which is the citizens' petition, to amend the town's zoning bylaw by deleting Section 11A in its entirety and replacing it with the new Section 11A as set forth in the handout. Romelli, second. Okay. Any other discussion? Yes. Okay. Um, so someone's likely to ask us the question why we recommend no action. Um, or in the event that they do, mm -hmm. we would reply, what would be our best reply? Typically, when there is a bylaw that wants to be amended, you go to the planning board, they refer it to the bylaw subcommittee. The bylaw subcommittee looks at it, works on it, has hearings, da 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 It is a process. Both of these got placed by getting 10 signatures and getting placed on the line. So it's not gone through process, and process would be a better avenue because there's a process in place to make sure things are done, I's are dotted, T's are crossed. Mm -hmm. We have those in place for a reason. Um, so is there a reason why we wouldn't recommend unfavorably in order to stronger feel that it does go through that? Because if we recommend unfavorably, town votes it down, then it takes how long, How long is it? Three, I think it's three years. Three, three years. years. Come back in front of the town. So if we recommend unfavorably and they three. still vote it down. If they vote it down regardless, but if we recommend unfavorably and they listen to us and don't vote it in, that means the bylaw cannot come back in for, for three years. If they take no action, they can go through the process and present it the next town meeting. So does someone have to then get up and amend the motion on the floor to take no action? Okay. Um, yes. Yes. Because the motion is made before right. your recommendation is requested. They read it all out, so it's on the floor, and then we did not recommend. They read the war. They read the war article. Oh. Yeah. They so read the moderator them. reads the war article. Yeah. Someone makes the motion. Mm -hmm. The moderator asks the finance committee for its recommendation. Right. Right, so right. the motion will have already been made. Right, so they all have to alter it. At that point, if they say if someone stands up, so they make the motion to take no action. That's all they have to do. Or, right. Or, or not. No, there's already motion on the floor. So whoever made the original motion has to rescind. Okay. Assuming there is a second in support of the motion, it needs to be rescinded or voted. It's one of those two. Okay. Well, they could get up and make an amendment that takes no action, and that would re that would eliminate the article. If that's the amendment to the motion. I don't think we care about the process at this point. I just want to know what we want to do. I still don't think that we have to do that. I don't understand that myself, but I need to reread town meeting times. <laughs> it is yeah. it all I, say, all I can say for certain is that it's not as simple as an arbitrary person making a motion to take no action. Gotcha. So what do we want to do then? We have a motion on the floor. The second. Any other discussion? We're in the discussion, so any yep. other discussion? Just, I just want to keep having yep. discussion. Just want to have discussion. But, Madam Chair, if I may. Yes. So it, this is uh, the, the Article 11 box. I'm sorry, the 19. Article uh, suggestion. Um, I will note that the planning board has already endorsed and, and suggests approval of this article. Uh, they, they haven't had their hearing yet. They're they hearing and they're issue. waiting for a few more things first. It's not an official endorsement yet. All right, so done it many times, takes five minutes. We want to wait till that happens and right before the meeting, see what we're going to do with this. I know that's not a popular decision with you, but do we want to see how they come up on it? They're not having their meeting until next Tuesday. And the thing is, is this motions have to be typed up and prepared. Okay. So I'm just saying, I mean, we can always amend. We 
can always amend if we want at that point. It's just. No, the, 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 what gets typed up, you can, and it's said it in the past, for the, the Finance Committee can say, most, I mean, recommendation made on the floor, because if we make a decision just before the meeting, then you make a recommendation on the floor. So that can be done. That's, that's happened before. And it can be altered at the altar. It's just a recommendation. It's only and the exactly. Only that's that's the only, I'm just. Yeah. No, I, I'm. I'm just trying to. Move it along. Move it along. <laughs> I didn't expect that there was so much discussion on pieces. So move the motion. I, I don't. I, I, I'll, Go ahead, Tommy. I, I just don't. I don't understand where the, where it is in there that it says that we have to say either favorable or unfavorable. It says we have to consider every every item and make a recommendation to the town people. You could just can you just abstain from recommendation? No, MGL says you must give a recommendation. And that's why we have three choices. Okay. Yes, no, or no action. All right. So well, on the floor is a no action motion with a second. Right. Okay. So we want to take a vote? Sure. Yes. Okay, Tommy. Mm -hmm. I what do I do to not vote either way? Abstain, Abstain. or whatever. I don't know. Okay. Oops. David. Lucy or I. Pete? Mally, aye. Ken? Purcell, aye. Normal, aye. Pass. Okay, and then the next is I make the motion that the Finance Committee recommend the town take no action on the citizen's petition to amend the town's zoning bylaw, Article 12, Marijuana Establishments, according to the document on file with the Turks, town clerk's office for a citizen's petition. Mally, second. Any discussion? Any discussion? Okay, we'll take a we'll call vote. Tommy? Rushala, aye. David? Lucy, aye. Pete? O'Malley, aye. Ted? Purcell, aye. Narwhal, aye. It passes. Okay. Moving along. Okay, so now let's do the minutes from April 13th, please. Uh, I make a motion that we approve the minutes of April 13th. Second. Any discussion? Any corrections? Okay. Tommy? Rashala, aye. David? Lucy, aye. Uh, actually, Tommy, you can't. You were absent from that meeting. You have to abstain. You have to actually abstain. Sorry. So can you change your well, answer? The minutes looked okay to me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you weren't at the meeting. <laughs> okay. So could you? Oh, abstain. Okay. David? Lose your eye. Pete? O'Malley eye. Ted? Purcell eye. And Narwhal eye. Okay. Now the minutes from April 15th. I make a motion that we approve the minutes of April 15th. Okay. Second. Any discussion? Any errors? Any omissions? Okay. Tommy, you were absent at this one as well. So. Rashala abstain. Okay. David? Lucy or I. Pete? O'Malley I. Ted? Purcell I. Narwhal I. Okay. So now we go back to the All right. So I sent everything out tonight to everybody. And so is there anything else that we need to do? Don't we have all of the No, we we we, we, we have to get it down to five hundred because that's all that the override is. We, oh that's right. Yeah, the override isn't the full amount. It's just gonna get us closer. Okay. And we're down to what was it, one ninety something? Or? No, I, uh, no. They, they sent us those. Uh... Yes, but there's revenues involved in there and all of that, and that's not helping the way we right. it. Because <laughs> we can do it this way if you guys would rather. And then I can tell you, I'm sitting 
out in the crowd. I won't sit up front because trying to explain to everyone that that's revenue and that's here and this comes in here and this goes out here. We got to keep it the way we've always done it, which is how the townsfolk are used to seeing it because it's too contentious of a, in my opinion, it's too contentious of a budget year to make that big of a change because it's hard to understand that for those of us who have been involved with it since the beginning. So Sorry. this is because we, they're modifying revenue or the manipulator, because I, I didn't get that. I just, I have a problem with the PC. This, this was, um, no, I think, no, remember the last meeting when Ron was going to go, and he was, I could barely hear you because I was, I had to zoom in at that night, was, but it was, he was going to go back and do the numbers reverse or whatever. Right, because right. he doesn't like the way we do it. Right. Oh. Oh, 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 yes, but that has nothing to do with revenue. But it does, because part of what he was sending back was revenue for being refunded and coming back, and that was all part of the numbers. Okay. So it's like <laughs> reading Chinese, if you will. <laughs> well, I mean, so the revenue is an item that's in the in the plan anyway. It's, it creates the, the resources from which we draw the appropriations, and that's down to, right now it's down to, it was down to a uh, overspending of half a million dollars, and we're working off of that. Um, but if the numbers aren't changing, if his if the numbers that he had for revenue is not changing from what it was, and we are at a point where all we're dealing with is mo is um, modifying what would be the amount of money that we would put back into the budget. Um, is there a simple way to do that without going down and adding back in 38 cents for I sent everybody the spreadsheet tonight, which I pretty much put back everybody's stuff. Yeah. Okay. And it's there's more money in there than what we're going to have with the override. We only had to get another 500,000. We don't get. So the, the deficit is more than 500,000. We're not, we're, we're talking cuts. So what we're putting back in, we can only put back in right out of the 1095 that we took out through whatever, right? We're only to put back in 500,000. Because that's all we're getting. Okay. So the bucket to spend is five hundred thousand. Right. So we, we took out, we took out enough to get to zero. We did for the first one. And we got to put back five hundred thousand. We had to put back five hundred. But I guess what I'm saying is there were cuts. There were a number of cuts, and we took out more than five hundred thousand. So we're going to be putting back. I mean, revenues modified, etc. But we're, we're took out more than 500. We're putting back only the 500. And again, is would there be with what what we've done already, where we went back and added back in salaries and increases and et cetera, et cetera? Is there a simple way uh, pick some high value items that with which we could say this is where we want to be? Sure. Get the budget and let me know what you well, got. I think, I think so. I can't remember where we ended the last meeting, but where, where were we at, Karen, on the, on the... I don't know now, because now I've just taken it and I put everything back okay. and said that's where we're going to start, because we're so going we're gonna around, 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 so around, put, around, okay, around, so, let's, so then we're going to start with put the salaries back. We've already put everything back. Just, I've taken everything okay, that so, we took out and put it back in. Okay, so now we're just taking... Now it. we're just going to take out from there to get it to 500000 at the bottom. Um, 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 okay, I guess everyone I'm, pulls up what I sent them. I, yeah, I can't read it on that. The spreadsheet. <laughs> My, which column yeah. should I be looking at? X? The one that says, yep, FinCom recommended override passes. Here. Do I have it here? And.
I see a piece of stuff working in town. Too bad you don't work there. Do you impact the other summaries at the one? No. I sent one just tonight with um, the new spreadsheets. Ted asked me for them, so I sent them. And what time did I send them? I can honestly not remember. There's time. So at this point, Karen, with everything put back in, we are forty nine, three forty nine. Okay, yeah. I, I'm sorry, it's just it's been a blur. I'm sorry, uh not three forty, four forty one. I got a it's titled last, Impact Statement email, Summary is the title of the email. Snow and ice is the last one I got from <clears throat> Yeah, and it's not that long. Okay. So instead of sitting here and dwelling on this tonight, is that does that have an X on it that says Big Tom recommended override? Passes. Uh, X. X is the column. No. Okay. So I sent it out tonight. What do we want to do? Because I don't want to waste everybody's time. Do we want to take it and just come back on Tuesday? What do we want to do? Because I didn't print it because it's an ever changing document. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't get in, so I'm not prepared. Um, I guess I'd be in favor of that. <clears throat> yeah. I, mean, I don't know how we're going to do it. I can't find it anywhere. I'll, I'll make sure it gets sent out again. I just need to. So, Karen, from the perspective of where we are, mm -hmm. are we back unbalanced because we put everything back in? Mm -hmm. And now. We have to take out what we need to to get down to only 500,000. 500, we have to take out 500,000. Okay. Madam Chair, may I ask a question? Sure. Um, I'm a little unclear because I thought you folks cut 480 out between you and Ron. That's what I thought the deficit was when you started the cutting process. Am I wrong? Wouldn't be the first time I'm wrong about this, or there's something else I don't understand. Uh, Ron likes to put changes in revenue included in that, mm -hmm. and the revenue is already included in our budget so that it's already there. So we have to. Ah, so you need to also account for the revenue differences. All right, thank you very yep. much. I understand. Do you remember that, Karen, what the uh, subject was on that? I'm sorry. Okay. It's okay. I use it. It, it was. Um, Sorry. It was impact statement summary, okay, so that's what I just had idea. which she originally sent this morning. With the with this, this is what I told you. That's yeah. the impact summary, but there should be another. There should be another one. That's and then I replied to that with. So now you should have it because I just sent it. Karen, when I look at column X, it tells me there's a $16,094.14. Yeah, and that's the thing. I gotta, I haven't, because I've been spending all of my free time writing the impact <laughs> statement summary, I haven't spent a lot of time on this because okay. it's writing that impact summary, um, which needs to be given out, posted, whatnot. Um, that took several hours to put through everything. And thank you very much for sending me the one from the library. So thank you. Has anyone had a chance to look to make sure that we didn't miss anything? It looked good to me. On the impact yeah. statements. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they, they looked look, they're really thorough. I did I did cut some of the wording, but I got I think I got the general just because you can't we don't want 12 pages posted. Right. Right. I mean I, I have this if you you can okay. If you want to try to do something. Okay. Well, the thing is, guys, um, we can go down through if we want, or do we want to take a look at our own leisure to figure out how we get there and everyone look at it? Because then that way it'll just go faster. Okay. So just to clarify, out of these X columns, yep. we need to find 500000 that you're going to take off of that, out of that column? Yeah. Okay. That column is, all I did was all the cuts that we took. 
Yep. I gave it back. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So now we have to get it so that the net is five hundred. I, I don't care how we get it. To be no, honest. no, I know. But I don't care how we get I'm it. Not, mm. So I we... think like an accountant. So sometimes I don't. To me, I put everything back. We tried doing it the other way, and Ron. Anyway. We can take the 120 back from free cash. That's 120 right away. But if we're going to do a red pass, it's all I'm saying is we want to put in raises and Exactly. And so those stuff. all are put back in. And then once so, all that right. cuts so and systems go and through it, and Go through it, look through it. I'd rather have everyone look through yeah. it and, and come back with some really good ideas. Let's hit the ground running on Tuesday because we've got to get this. Yeah. Done. We're too close now. Okay. The warrant is going to be posted tomorrow. I guess I'm going to add these columns up and I can, as long as I have five hundred pounds. Right. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So okay. that's what I want. I want people to to look at it, make sure that we're all in agreement of what's going back in from our cuts, and then because we have to also give this back to people so that they can do what they want to do for this. Because. Um, okay. All right, so then the only other thing is, is everyone acceptable with the fact of, so I will send the, we got library stuff later today that I hadn't sent, did I send that out later? I don't even remember. I don't think so. Okay, I'm gonna send this back out. I would really I had, like- I saw the library. No, but this is written now. Oh, in into your, okay. Yep. So I would like everyone to take a look at it tonight and let me know by noontime tomorrow so that I can get this into the hands of the appropriate people so that they can post it maybe tomorrow, maybe Monday. Okay. Um, I've got a couple of questions on both of these things that you just talked about. Okay. Um, <clears throat> when we were the other night working our way through restoring the 500,000, First thing we did was we restored positions, we restored salaries. Yep. Um, we talked about whether or not we would um, use that to knock down the amount of free cash that we put in, that yes. we were gonna use. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did we ever come to a conclusion on none, all, some? No. That's, okay. That'll be up for discussion too. It's up for discussion. Yeah, that's okay. So. But we also don't forget, Ken, too, in that number, which I don't know if that's in here, is the overtime. Remember that overtime? Uh, if we put back the departments, they're not overtime. I'm sorry, unemployment. Yes, put back that's, that's that all at the bottom. Okay. So you got to kind of look at it and see. I haven't spent, like I said, my free time this week has been spent doing yeah. this so that we could get this done. I was just curious who's in there so I could find it. should it. be. Okay. It's all down at the bottom. I mean, it's all down at the bottom. So then I did have a couple of questions. Go right ahead. Um, yeah, I wrote a comment too long. <laughs> yeah, um, I agree. Which I is one of the reasons why I started packing away at this, which okay. is arguably too long as well. But a couple things. Yeah. Does this reflect any changes that were made by the departments with that latitude that we gave yes. them? Okay. Yes. I was thinking it didn't yep, it does. in the, in the police one, because that was the only one that I really remembered. He said, I've changed things, but yeah. I'll, I'm going to take your word because you're more familiar with it at this point. The one thing I did, I was, as I was poking around today, I looked at the town administrator. That one doesn't seem to match up with some numbers that I saw in hers. And I don't know if it makes up whether we should check it out now and if I'm just seeing things incorrectly or. Um, okay. But I, I had. I was the boss, I would make them all put the name of their department in every file name that they create. I agree. Uh, I found that difficult. So on that, somebody like you said, this, you're yeah. gonna alter it, you're gonna alter it with this library. And 
in there. I've already, I will, I'll send it now. I, because we, uh, Ted was nice enough to notice that that was missing and reach out to Carrie and, and got it for us. So now that's on there because going through all this paper. I, I learned new words when I talked to her today. Oh, I'm sure you did. <laughs> I tried as best I could to Bullet point. <laughs> Bullet point as much as I could, but there's an awful lot of information that I also knew was very important from the department heads to get out to the public. So therefore, most of it is left in the. Well, I think it is long, but I think it shows that it's a huge impact. Mm -hmm. And that's part of why it's long. I mean, yeah. This budget being passed, um, or the old whatever, yep. or whether it comes from school or whether it comes right. from home, there's a lot of cuts here. Yes. And uh, things have to change because can't keep going that way. So, so is, was Ron going to publish something? Ron's on vacation. What's that? Well, Ron is right. on vacation. <laughs> oh, and I understand that. So, before the town meeting, was he going to yes. do something to? He already. <clears throat> uh, then he put a letter in the line. There is there is a press release. Yeah. Right. This is from the town department heads. I don't want to wait. I want to get this in the hands to get it out and on the website and okay. social media because it's important that each one of these concerns from the department heads is heard early for the town meeting. We can't wait till the town meeting gets too late. People need to understand these are the things that you will lose. Right. If you either, if we accept the school budget, don't do the override, however you want to look at it. Mm -hmm. Right. The, the main reason, I mean, honestly, you'll get more people to read this that will go to the meeting because of it. That right. might not go if they didn't see it. Right. So it's more votes there. One way or the other, it's more right. votes Exactly. There. And it's important that <laughs> they the understand thing. what they're voting on for the... Right. And the other thing is we all the override. would agree very few people change their vote at a meeting. They go there with knowing how they're voting. Right. So they need, they need to get the information right. before so, the meeting so they know where they're going. I mean, that's the thing. I want to make sure that this is out sooner than later. Mm -hmm. And being that we're two weeks away, I figure that's not too long for people to forget, <laughs> but close right. enough that they have enough time right. to do the research. Think, well, at least they know where it is. Then go back and look at it anytime. time. Right, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so that's can, what I'd like to get to. I think it's good. I mean, I'm just, I, the library, I read the library. Right. Impact that you said, I'm sure that's just transferred over to it, it is, yes. Right? So it didn't get passed along by the town administrator because he was going to the yes. language in it, which I spent years cleaning up the language. Um, it could use a little bit of uh, cleaning up, but okay. Um, that's fine. That's so, fine. Karen, just yep. mechanically, yep. this. It looks like a spreadsheet that you converted to a PDF, correct? It is a spreadsheet there, right now. The yes, I okay. would make it to a PDF, yes. Um, post it, give it to, I'm going to Anita uh, or... Because yes, Anita is the one that would post it to the town website. Mm -hmm. So I would give it to her to do that. Um, I wouldn't expect that she would have the time to do it tomorrow. But if we sent it to her tomorrow, then maybe she could do it Monday and get it on the website. And then I don't know who has access to the social media accounts for the town sure. that I don't know. So at least this way it yeah. can be passed along so they can post it and let them know. Yep. I just think it's important that we get this out sooner than later. Well, and, and are we going to, I mean, I know Ron's already sent the, the article to the landmark, but should the landmark? It's already been published. Published, yeah, the, that article's been published, but, <clears throat> and I don't know if it's too late for the next time that the landmark comes up, but isn't, is, should the landmark, the, the newspaper be announcing that there is information out on the, on the um, town's website? And if you're going to vote, please go look at that. Well, I think he you can try to get a try to get all of the see if they'll post on to see if they'll post it but i can't promise you that they will because okay. i know there's concerns with that sometimes write an editorial yeah right yeah. editorial but maybe. it's and i just okay. i mean we could do a short press release that just says from the finance committee there's important information that 
someone that's going to town meeting probably ought to read. Um, and, you know, they don't necessarily have to publish it, but there, there might be hope that they that they do. Um, oh, Anita can post on the town's Facebook page, so that's good. Okay. So we'll get it to her so that that gets posted. Okay. I, I don't I don't want to force her to do it, so that's why I'm saying noon time. I'll send it off to her so that way it's there for Monday morning for her to be able to do it at that point. So. Mm -hmm. Just to get it out, but I'd like everyone to take a look at it and double check it because as I'm typing it, I looked at it early today. I think you gave me one of these, too, didn't you? What's that? I gave you one of those. I okay. was just going to bring it up for a moment of this. Yeah. Nope, I will definitely. So, Did Tommy get one? No. So that's that's what I'd like to do. So if everyone could, I send it out now with the library information on it. So if everyone could. By new time tomorrow, it's too late to make any changes. Okay. Okay. So that's the one that we just got that says impact statement. Yep. Summary of impact Summary impact statement. Yeah, because it's, we can't post all of this. All of this will not work. No. So I put it on, it's three pages still, and it's kind of small. Now, I don't know what everyone's preference is, because I do know I did it the same way he put out the format. I'm not so sure that we need to have the account numbers. I don't know if that's of any importance. <coughs> so, what, you know, to the public, I'm not sure right. that they really know that a 5120 they know that, is. I think that the departments is all they got. The departments right, right. and then the title of the account. Right. How yeah. I'm thinking. They know this departments get hit this way. Right. Exactly. They don't, I don't think it matters if it's from this account or that account, that departments get hit. Right. Well, that I made sure that it's all there because they told they told us the impact of each one of yeah, them. So I that's know. why I've, it's, yep. it's all there. So okay. that's good. Right. All right. So now Ted has handed out what he has done. Yeah, I, I took a, a little bit of a, a, a different tack, but it the, the latter part of what I did includes um, summaries that would be even a, a, would be boiled down over that of the impact. But just let me tell you what I, I put this in the form of a slideshow, thinking that a couple of things could be done with it. Um, you know, similarly post it um, on a website. It could be something that could even be emailed to people. You can, I could take it and save it as a PDF, which I would likely do um, before sending it out because it's just a format that's, you know, pretty universally readable. But basically, I just came at this from the perspective of um, what is what was our charge as a finance committee? Um, that's kind of the basic facts, the finance committee role, some of the bottom line of what kind of a deficit we were facing and why where we got to it, where the idea came up that an override needs to be proposed and what exactly that means. Because I, I ran into a couple of people recently and they said to me, vote no on the override. And I just said, would you tell me why? Well, I want to restore the services to the town. I said, okay, that means you need to vote yes. No, it doesn't. Yes, yes we. So that I mean, to me, that level of confusion is out there, which to to me on some level is way simpler than this, because that's simply knowing what the yes and no vote means. Um, and I, I, I tried to deal with that in in this document and just lay out, you know, some of the things that got us to where we are, what the override would do. And then um, at the end, I was kind of working from this and putting one slide Three. per um, department. Right. Um, and interestingly enough, the last ones are the ones I started working my way kind of backwards of it um, in terms of, uh, you know, the Council on Aging, it eliminates the out reach worker and services. This results in less assistance in bing, bang, boom, yeah. boom, boom areas. I, I, in the most part, I didn't even put um, necessarily the numbers in there. Uh, you know, I talked with Kerry a little bit about 
a library potentially losing certification, cutting some of their days, and they haven't actually totally decided that it's going to be, you know, what number of days it would be. But I think I, I get a pretty decent estimate. And, and yeah, um, we're going to pack state, but she tells us how, how many hours are going to cut down to so. um, losing meeting space, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I, I guess I was just throwing this out there to say is, is this a, a worthwhile effort that I keep putting some time into um, and that we might send out? Um, and if, if it is, I'd love to have you read these slides that I've made that, that kind of um, lay out the whole we're in. And... So I guess I see this Ted is just being another <clears throat> form of the impact statement. And I think it, it might be a lot easier for people to read rather than trying to understand this dollar, what that dollar means. And, and this is just making a statement. This is saying, these are the things that are gonna go. And I don't, so I'm saying, I guess what I'm suggesting is that this is maybe complimentary to the one that, uh, that Cameron is doing. That was my intention was, yeah, yeah be, be complimentary and, and not yeah, to replace, not no, to, no. but I think. Um, right, because somebody might look at this and see this is easier to read than exactly. somebody who wants to see the actual meat and potatoes. And exactly. I agree, yep. I agree. And part of what I tried to outline was, you know, what was our role? Why is it that, because I and a lot of what people go to town meeting, they're like, why does the finance committee say anything right. about this? Who are they and blah, blah, blah. So I, I kind of laid out some of that in here as well as to why there's a recommendation on on each article. And um, uh, one of the things that uh, I think might be helpful for people to understand is is the, the, you know, the concept that we had to use a lot of free cash last year and that doesn't get replaced by revenue. So we, um, you know, we started off the hole in a tough place and, and uh, I, I think both should go. Honestly. Oh, absolutely. I think it's good. I think what you're doing really, yep. again, it, it summarizes to a degree Karen's, but then if you really you look at this and you say, well, really that, and then you can look at Karen's and right. say, wow, exactly. there, there it yep. is. You yep. know what I mean? So and I agree because that's what we, we've got to get it out to the masses. Yeah. So right. whatever way that someone is going to feel more comfortable in reading this, this is what's most important is getting the information out there. Absolutely. Yep. Madam Chair? Yes. Can I please get a copy of everything? By that I mean the specific dollars for each department. I don't not I don't need subline numbers, but totals the total cut for each department, the impact statements, um, and then I'd love, also like a copy of Ted's work because I can I can try to put something together in the next few days to put on TV and on YouTube. Oh, love it. Okay. Love, media it. Thing. Okay. love it. I will send it to you tomorrow, the same time I send it to um, to Anita. And then once Ted's finished, we'll make sure it gets to you as well. So thank you. Great. Thank, thank you very, very much. much. Absolutely perfect. So one thing that um, I would like from you know fellow members here of the finance committee is to just look at some of these bullet points and say, yep, that makes sense. I've even got a couple of blanks here where I've got some numbers that I would like to be able to plug in, but you know, you might look at it and go, well, but we really don't need to say that or, um, you know, look at it as a draft that is open to edits and I can send it electronically, but sometimes for me, it's just easier to see a paper copy. Um, well, so, you know, Ted, is your intention to be able to finish the animal control, the fire ambulance assessors, or um, we just pull it? Yeah, those are actually really, it, it's pretty easy to take it from this yeah, that's what and, I mean. and okay. put it into a slide. Right. It's, it's at, honestly the, 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 um, the first page and then the, the slide that I just titled the override. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because in there, I, I put the link to the calculator in there that's yep. on the uh, mm -hmm. the town website. Um, I mean, I could put in a couple of, if, if you take the average 250 or 300 or $350,000 house, it will do this to the taxes, but that calculator is 
pretty user friendly. I guess the only, um, I mean, the only question I have is, is there any, like what you talks about the watch usage going up, is there any, um, another way uh, in that to talk about does the override doesn't have to pass the school budget you know the school budget doesn't pass the override might not have to pass or any of that you know what i mean we don't really know the outcome of the school budget not passing yet is the problem right because we don't really know what that budget number will be if it that doesn't is, pass that is correct but we know it's going to be a lot more than zero <laughs> true we have a minimum understanding of what the deficit would be right no matter what the school the, the school budget turns out to be okay so it's impossible to really no yeah. because they could move it down i mean if two towns vote it down first of all i gotta get two towns to sure vote it down. right we're gonna go that and then it goes back and they yeah. can move it by a dollar if that's what they want so yeah so you, you don't just don't know okay right. i did on one of the slides put in um uh <clears throat> you know something about the fact that we have to be prepared um, for, uh, and this is the fourth bullet on the basic facts, which is the second slide down. Mm -hmm. Finance committee will present other budget scenarios based on variables such as proposition two and a half override, last minute changes such as changes in state and or federal funding and other towns that are part of what the regional school district. Um, you know, it's not it's not specifics, but uh, I believe we're the first town meeting, so we're yeah, not have we're that we're not yeah we're not going to have that if you want to call it a luxury. Um, That's a whole other, a whole school budget possibilities, a whole other mm -hmm. section that's not even going to deal with this at this point. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's think about that. So from the perspective of the school budget itself. Uh, we are where we are because the school budget came in the way it did. And part, part, well, partly, not 100%. Well, no, I think it's, my opinion is 100%. It's um, the school budget has gone up. The um, Rutland's population, children in school have gone down. And we really haven't seen them uh, at this point participate uh, as a partner in the whole idea of managing the the finances so i'm not i'm not blaming them for causing the problem i'm just saying that it would be good if they could participate with us in trying to um develop the budget so that we don't have to go into deficit and an override i think i, I don't know how we do that but i think you're right but i don't think that's gonna happen that's a future Town meetings, they did this one. They already have the budget that's presented. And like you say, once they, if they doubt it, we don't know what they're coming back with. It doesn't mean they're still going to work with us. It right. just means they're going to come with a number they can get past. Right. Right. We are, we <laughs> so. are recommending unfavorable right. on the piece that it is because we do believe that it is not favorable for the town. Right. But, yeah. I mean, one of the things that we, I mean, part of the reason is. One could argue that we used way too much free cash last year than we could have. And part of that reason was that we had a budget that was too high. And last year, if I, I think we, they, the impact on Rutland was about a 5% increase. And we had said we could probably handle 3.25. Right. That's correct. And um, I, I think I made a reference that in here i don't really feel like we have a good grasp on that this year so that if, if, if the question comes up at the town meeting why are you advising against the school budget you know the the argument would be because we can't afford the amount that was asked for right and i don't feel we really like ha have a number that we could say we, we could have afforded this i mean we're almost in we're in a worse position probably than we were last year but um i don't know exactly what that is i actually looked through their budget presentation again today and i was hoping that i might just jump out at me yeah, and say this. Really. but by voting yeah. in a number means nothing because they can take that number or they can say nope and go back and decide their own. So 
Yeah. Running through that numbers and trying to get a number that we could afford is kind of a, I, I looked at it as a, a, an exercise in futility. So I figured we've been through so much stuff yeah. <laughs> this year. I figured we didn't need another exercise. No, it's, an, it's an impossible question. You no, but it would be nice to have it for the reasoning behind the decision that was made. We'll be able to say to the people, we, we could have handled this number. Yeah. Done something more along the lines could, of this. We could obviously say if the proposition, if proposition two and a half is there for a reason, we can handle anything around two and a half or under. <laughs> I can be pretty safe with that. I mean, we, we have voted, we have recommended to vote unfavorably. Yes. I yep. think we're all set on yep. So yeah, going back to this, so. I think we, we can't, we can't use any of the school budget stuff in the, in the argument, so let's just stick with And this I think we have, the, the good news is this year, we have the impact statements. Yeah. Correct. So we That's going to help these. a lot. <laughs> what, what, what would have been cut? Well, okay. Look right here. <laughs> exactly. And I'll, yeah. you know, I'll have them printed out for each one of us, and we can each take a page. <laughs> okay. So, Where do you want me to stop? Yeah. <laughs> right. would you like? Yeah. yeah exactly. Right. Um, so. And that's the other thing too. Can we have that printed out and hand them out at the door? Is that a lot? Yeah. So they can see that if they didn't see it before, at least they don't, I know it won't matter, but at least they will have it on mm -hmm. you. Okay. You can ask that that be done. <clears throat> All right. I think that's a good idea. What's that? The impact statement? These. Both of these. The yeah. Yeah. You know, once this is I know finished, we can get we both. Get it all ahead of time, we can but... ask that those get printed. I mean, we were talking about a packet being yeah. available and that'd be it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, any other business? And then you, uh, let me make sure that we've covered everything that was on Okay, yeah. <laughs> I think we're good. <laughs> I gotta make sure I'm like, did I cover everything? We're good. All right, so are we good for tonight? Do you want me to? I think, I think at this point, unless anyone else, does anyone else have any other discussions? We'll just all go home, do the homework. But, guys, I want to come in here for, on Tuesday and hit the ground. Please, please. No, so, Tuesday's no. agenda would be. Um, and get the five hundred thousand dollars put back into the budget. Oh, I, I know. I did. I had. And I did have another question that I think is fairly quick. Yeah. Okay. Do we need? Is there any point to have a, any other version of the budget, or is it basically we need the worst case scenario, and if the override passes, do we need any other version? We can't. We can't come out with another version like we just said. Right. The only other version would be if the school changed, and we won't know what that number is anyway. So it's impossible to. And do the, the Ron had sent an email or two at some point about the state doing some preliminary, but there's nothing solid there yet either. No. To say they're not it's going to come in way late. They're not going to expect anything to be finalized for how does first of all the american rescue act won't be finalized with anything until mid to late may and they're expecting that the budget process so the house is starting to debate it and then it's going to go to the senate so they're hoping when i listen to the head of the ways and means for the house of representatives they're hoping that they'll have it as close to ish to july 1st it's going to, if any big numbers come in, I think that's going to be addressed in the fall meeting. I would so I'm assume if there's big changes to be moved around. Right, right, right. What does does the American Rescue money and what the state budget is have any? No, it's just we're still waiting for them to somebody to tell towns how and what they can do with that rescue money. Right, but again, that's one time revenue. It's still so not. Again, it's great, but it's not it's like you can rely on it for next year's budget. It's not there anymore. Right. Well, it would be nice to get if, back if to we you could do sure. some debt pay down, right? Exactly. Or that or that cop car. Exactly. Yeah. There's a but, lot of that kind of stuff. That, that kind of stuff. Come, yep. That kind of stuff would come handy, but unfortunately, uh, we don't know yet, and we won't know in time. I'm not expecting yes. to hear because I I did ask that question, and they said they're not expecting to have final anything out until mid May. That's brutal. Okay. All right. So, anything else for everybody? Yeah, I was gonna look at Ted. He's even <laughs> thought. I was gonna make sure he's all set. <laughs> then I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Okay. I'm only second. Any discussion? Any discussion? Tommy. Rushala, I. David. Lucy, I. Pete. O'Malley, I. Ted. Priscilla, I.
and Narwhal Dive. Thanks guys!